Russell Gahagan from Russell's Fishing Tech coming back at you with another video. We're out on Lake Ontario here. We're out on the Dirty Goose Fork fishing boat, uh, one of his three boats actually. And we're fishing uh, in the Wilson area near the Niagara Bar for Kings. One of the things I want to show you guys in, in a lot of my videos or most of my videos, you know, I utilize and talk a lot about inline planer boards, but I get a lot of questions. Well, what about in, you know, what about big boards? The ones that you use a mass system for. So I want to show you what Casey does here out on Lake Ontario that's a little bit different than what we do at home as another option for you. So what he's using is he's utilizing Big John Auto Bolts and you might be able to see see that out there. Um, that's one of the that's one of the um, options for a large board. There's quite a few out there. I own a set of Amish Outfitter boards. Whatever it is that you prefer will work. Nothing um, beats a Big John. Don't listen to him. I'm going to tell you right now. There you not go, sponsored kid. by him. Nothing beats an otter boat. Casey says an otter boat. Um, so it's personal preference, but I think the otter boats do work fine. So what's the, the disadvantage of a big board? Well, the disadvantage is if you want to put a spread out of different types of lines, like a three color, a five color, a seven color, if you get a bite on your furthest out one, you'd have to reel the other ones in. The advantage is if you have a couple of setups that are the same, like for example, uh, I'm gonna set up a 300 copper right now. If you've got a couple of 300 coppers, you could utilize both those on one side of the boat. And when you get a bite, you don't have to fight the board and the fish. So I've let out this 300 foot copper right here. It's ready to rock and roll. And what I've done is I've attached two, and this is Casey's setup he showed me. I've attached two 16, number 16 rubber bands to the copper itself. Okay, and he's got his copper secured there with a swivel to the backer. So I'm gonna grab those two rubber bands and we're gonna come over here. And I'm gonna pull on the cord here that the, uh, that the planer board is on. Right, and I'm gonna grab one of these Amish Outfitter releases. And all you do is you slide the rubber bands in that release, pull back, now it's snapped in just like that. And then, you're ready to rock and roll. Put it in the rod holder and let that clip. I believe those are called clippers. Let that clip. Amish outfitter clippers. Yep, Amish outfitter clippers. Let that slide right down the line as I'm doing, all the way down to the board. And you would do that same setup if I wanted to run another one. So if I wanted to run two spinners on this side, I would go ahead and put this one all the way down to the board. I would go ahead and let my other 300 out, put two number 16 rubber bands on, put it in an Amish Outfitter clipper and slide it down, uh, you know, a certain distance, keep them separated a little bit, and I'd be able to run both of those setups on the same uh, side of the board here. So again, what the advantage is, is that if I get a bite here on this particular 300 setup, once that rubber band breaks and comes off of the Amish, or out of the Amish Outfitter clipper, no longer do we have to fight the planer board, we're just fighting the fish. So, a little different setup for you, uh, you can give it some thought, maybe you're one of those guys that have uh, a mast already set up on your boat, you've got some of those boards already at home and you were always wondering what to do to give them a try, give Casey's setup a try. Good luck add, and good fishing. I want to add one thing to it, guys. So this otter boat comes with a single keel. What we've done on Lake Ontario is we add a second keel to it. We drill a, a parallel hole and take a, a half of a weight, keel weight, and put it on there. And that's how you get a board to pull so tight, where it's not as light with the extra keel. But like Russell said, there's nothing that beats a big John Otter boat. Um, I like them. I utilize them. I hate fighting an inline board. I think they're more client friendly. Um, and they fish big water. So... That's all I got for you, Russell. Okay, we're all set. Now catch good some luck more and, fish. Good luck and good fishing.